In this video, we'll look at how to use conditional formatting to shade alternating groups of rows. You can use this approach to shade groups of three rows, groups of four rows, and so on. Here we have a table with three rows of data for each client for the months April, May, and June. Let's use conditional formatting to highlight these rows to match the data. We can do this with a formula that groups rows by threes. As usual, I'll set up dummy formulas to figure out a working formula. Then I'll create a conditional formatting rule in the final step. To start off, I want to get a row number for each row, starting with 1. I can use the row function for this. But by itself, row returns the current row number, so the numbers begin at 5. To fix this, I can simply subtract 4. This gives us row numbers that begin with 1 to match the data. Next, we need a way to group rows in multiples of 3. The ceiling function works nicely in this case. Ceiling rounds numbers up to a given multiple. So if we give ceiling the row number we calculated, and specify 3 for significance, we'll get rows grouped in multiples of 3. Next, I can simply divide this result by 3. And this gives us the same groups, but starting with the number 1. Now we have what we need to easily force a true result for rows that we'd like to shade. All we need to do is to wrap this formula inside the isEven function. isEven will return true for each even numbered group and false for odd numbered groups. This is exactly what we need for our conditional formatting rule. To create this rule, start off by copying the formula in the upper left cell. Then create a new conditional formatting rule based on a formula, paste that formula into the dialog, and set the desired format. Now the rows are shaded to match the data, and the table is much easier to read. What's nice about this formula is it's generic, and doesn't depend on the data in the table.